In the next few weeks, you will have your choice of at least 10 productions of the Nutcracker, including a Dance Along Nutcracker, a Tap Dance Nutcracker, and even one on horseback. But if you've had all the sugar plum fairies you can handle, there's a youth dance company in Evanston that's giving you a holiday alternative. It's a completely original production based on another classic. Here with the story is Christian Farr. Way back, look at the ceiling, look at the ceiling, look at the ceiling. Yes, beautiful. I actually really like The Nutcracker. I think it's a beautiful ballet and I think it's a really great holiday production. But I don't understand why it's the only holiday production. More energy, Katie. That's it. Bea Rashid is the artistic director of the Evanston Dance Ensemble. Her search for a new holiday production led her back to an old childhood favorite. And go! The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. The idea to adapt the C.S. Lewis classic about four children in the magical land of Narnia came to her when she read the book to her own children. I got to the scene where Lucy first walks through the wardrobe and the snowflakes falling. I immediately saw the, a dance. I got to the part with a fawn, and then, and then there were tree sprites and nymphs, and I thought, oh my gosh, this would really make an interesting um, dance production. Bea wanted her new production to have original music. She didn't have to look far for a composer. Her husband, Steve Rashid, composed and performed the entire score. We met working on the same theater show. Bea was a choreographer, I was a musical director. As long as we've known each other, we've worked together, literally. There are five different choreographers working on the production. I like to choreograph in more of a modern style. And I have other choreographers who are perhaps a little bit more jazzy and, a little, and some who are more balletic. When I read the story, I thought, oh my god, these characters in Narnia, I could envision so much modern dance, and yet the snowflakes seemed very balladic. But I felt that the beavers, you know, would much more grounded kind of dance, and they actually end up having tap shoes on. And because we're setting this choreography on youth dancers who are developing as dancers, I like to create a production which is a little bit more eclectic in style to give them an opportunity to perform different styles. The members of the Evanston Dance Ensemble are all between the ages of 12 and 18. The company has been around since 1997 and stages an original production each year. The dancers all study at Bea School Dance Center Evanston, which has nearly 800 students and offers more than 100 classes each week. Really what happened was I opened the school. I started to train the dancers, and yet I as an artist wanted to continue to create choreography and work artistically. Do me a favor, fill this way, fill the stage this way. And I saw the dancers developing to such a degree that I could work creatively with them. And then as he comes off the stairs, he's gonna The ensemble down. members also get to work with the other four choreographers. And every production includes professional adult dancers. This year I'm very excited because we have Ariel Cisneros who is has danced with Luna Negra and also the Joffrey Ballet, and he's going to be dancing the role of the lion. One of the things I love about Evanston Dance Ensemble is that I've had that exposure ever since my first year in fourth grade. I've seen, with direct contact, great dancing. It's not only heightened my own level of dancing, but it's showed me what I want to become. But when you grow up in the Evanston Dance Ensemble, it means you may never have a chance to be in the Nutcracker. 
Instead, you'll have to settle for a story of four children in the land of Narnia. Or whatever comes next. The truth is, I've never wanted to do what everybody else does. I'm always looking for the next challenge, the next thing that's somehow different, that's going to challenge me to think creatively and just do something different, not something that's been seen before. Ready? One more time. Hands on the door. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Christian Farr. You can catch The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe this weekend at the North Shore Center for the Performing Arts in Skokie. There's more information about it on our website.